welcome to another video by RURC Kids. In this video, we are looking at the work of Wayne Tebow, American painter, and uh, I'm going to be doing a block watercolour. Um, so I've pre-drawn out uh, one of his watercolours, which is this one here. Uh, um, and I'm going to do a little sample copy with some basic primary and secondary colours. So we're going to use different watercolour techniques. Uh, we're going to be using wet on wet and wet on dry. So first thing we're going to do is going to put a wash on this back area here. So I'm just going to, not the greatest paper in the world, a bit heavier than cartridge. Just going to make sure you've got a rag, some clean water. Oop, this brush is not being cleaned out properly. Just give that a clean. And just going to damp the paper, a little bit like an ice skater skating on an ice rink. That water just allows the paint not to dry as soon as it touches that surface, so allows it for a better blend. So just looking at that, I'm going to just put some blue. Don't overwork your paper. It can work quite quickly and quite roughly. But this isn't watercolour board, so it will break down a little bit and you know you can see it's curving already. The grain direction is curving a little bit. I'm just gonna put a bit of a wash down there. Just want to make this wash a little bit colder. So I'm just adding a little bit of black. Into that. And also, it seems to vary from picture to picture. I see this at. Almost has a bit of a sense of purple into it as well. So I'm just adding a little bit of red onto the blue. So I'm mixing on the actual paint for itself. So I'm getting that. Purple tint by adding that red and blue on there. So I'm just going to leave that for now. I don't want to overwork the sheet. What I'm going to do now, because I'm going to rest my hand here, so I'm not going to put that wash down there first. So I'm just going to go to a smaller brush. I don't know what this is, number 10. I'm going to put a little wet on wet on that. Same here as well. I'm going to move over to this aqua sort of blue. I'm just going to put a little bit at the top like that, and also a bit more on that one. And there, uh, wash my brush, give it a squeeze. It's really rags important. I'll take all that moisture out. My laptop not to go to sleep. Just blend that in. Almost like vignette it a little bit. Just get that first layer of colour on. Stick that on the laptop, I think. Stop it curling. And then I'm just going to use the water again. I'm going to use the yellow ochre. Just to put light wet wash there. Remember the capillary action of this will soak water back up so if you've over wet it or you want to take some paint away just with a clean brush suck that back up. So I'm just putting a very light moving it into the corners. Very light wash. And then I'm going to put got this strange purpley red shadow On here. So just playing around. Yep. So 
that was just a wet on dry because I didn't want to flood that. And then I'm just going to use my damp brush. Deep. So I've just been letting these washes go on. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put a wash down on here, which is a ready brown wash there. Put a little bit of water down. to a smaller brush. What's this? Number six. So I'm going to get some this green, got a green stripe in here. Then I've got a green bit there. Got a bit of green there. Green there. A bit of green there. I'm going to do, I'm going to put a wet on dry. I'm going to put these big powerful shadows in here now. So, let me just move up to my bigger brush. Look into the dark blue. So, I'm going to lock some pigment. Some blue on. Big powerful shadows. Just let that dry in a bit. I'm gonna tackle these tackle these cherries now. Now on the picture I'm looking at there is obviously red. Quite a rich red actually. Deep red. So I'm just going to add a little bit of purple on with that red. Red 
Irish bison. And then it's either blue or black. I'm going to put some blue and black, I think. It's got a shape in that cherry. And on that one as well. even a little bit of yellow, quite a bright yellow, go into that. Canary yellow. Where else? Bit of yellow there. Right? Almost a little bit of yellow in here. Right, I've got this. Like a drag. Okay, I think I've got all those in. I'm going to put some shadow in the cherry, which is going to be dark blue. Probably the same. There. I've actually got some yellow. Into it. It's going to have a little bit more fire engine red onto those cherries. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of water down here. I want a bit more aqua. I'm just going to bleed that edge with water. Defining the edges a little. stop right gonna put some more so this caramel splattering paint everywhere
get lemon yellow into this as well. to try and rub. If I had a rubber at hand, which I don't think I do. I'll just rub some of these pencil lines out. Adding some black and blue there. Just accentuating some of these shadows. Guy a little bit. Find the edge, the back of the cake. these pencil lines at the same time. Let's see if there's anything else that needs doing. Right. So this is my Wayne Tebow watercolour, inspired by this one here. What do we think, guys? Not too bad. <laughs> And a little zoom. Thanks for watching.